Hallelujah. Praise God. Wisdom is all that you need. There are things that you are praying for and they are not supposed to be prayed for. In any case, if you are going to pray, you just tell the Lord, give me the wisdom concerning this particular issue. And that has been my greatest prayer. Every time I face a big challenge, I go to God for wisdom. Give me the wisdom to overcome this. Give me the wisdom to come out of this. So that I don't waste much time thinking that the devil is so powerful. You bind demons sometimes that are not even available. The devil likes that. Satan likes you doing that. He wants you to already think that he's after you. Amen. He wants you to already think he's after you. So there are so many things that we can solve simply by engaging the wisdom of God. The wisdom of God. Amen. Wisdom is that powerful. The Bible teaches there is a whole chapter that speaks about wisdom. Actually, it's not even speaking about wisdom. It is wisdom speaking. Wisdom speaking and is saying that when God was creating the earth, he had to possess me. That when God was creating, when time came for creating, God, wisdom says God had to possess me. The scripture that says, I love those who love me. It is not Jesus who is saying it. It is wisdom that speaks it. A wisdom speaks that I love those who love me. And those who seek me shall find me. When you seek after wisdom, you find wisdom. Praise be to God. So we go to... Our, word, our message, remember, is the rewards of wisdom. So we stopped on reward number four, which was saying the right relationships increase your wisdom. Right relationships increase your wisdom. We discovered from Proverbs 13, 20, that he who walks with wise men shall become wise, but that a companion of fools shall suffer harm or shall be destroyed. So in other words, every one of us should have 10 commandments for relationship. That before you accept someone to be your friend, they have to see a certain interview. Now when they don't pass it, you don't bring them close. Don't tell them that they are sitting. You are marking them when they are not even aware. Because you can never be, be better than your friend. I like egos. One of the biggest characteristics of an ego is that it walks alone. Egos don't have company. Lone rangers. The only time you will see an ego with company is when she has found a mate or when he has found a wife, then they, 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 are two, they cannot be more than two. They don't have that huge company. Are you listening to me? Don't be a man pleaser because you end up frustrating yourself. You end up frustrating yourself every time you think everyone has to think well about you so you do everything to please them you end up frustrating yourself benefit number five or reward number five of wisdom i want us to open the book of proverbs chapter eight Number five is that wisdom is better than jewels or money. Before you think about money, think about wisdom. Wisdom is better than jewels or money. 
you give money to a fool he will lose it in a day in a day money in the hands of a fool the only thing he thinks about is to spend it fools don't save they don't have a saving culture at all So therefore wisdom is better than jewels or money. Between 1984 or 85 there up to 2010 Africa has been given 500 billion dollars in terms of aid. 500 billion dollars has come that man has come to Africa to help Africa grow up develop we are still working on pothole roads they are still teaching us the secrets of hand washing imagine they are still teaching us that it is important to wash your hands what is missing is not money what is lacking is wisdom our leaders die you can imagine you know this is amazing our leaders when they die before they die they take all their money even the one they have squandered to Swiss accounts. The very money after they die will come back to us. It came from us. It comes back to us as aid. And we are supposed to pay back. We are supposed to pay. Mobutu Sesezeko died in Morocco like a pauper a pauper i have a video of his burial he was buried by less than 20 people with 17 billion dollars in the swiss accounts his country is still suffering wisdom is better than jewels of money for any family to stabilize it takes more than anointing. It takes wisdom. You hear me? Proverbs 11, Proverbs 8 verse 11. For wisdom is better than rubies. And all that, and all the things that may be desired. Are you looking at that verse? And all the things that may be desired are not compared to it. There is nothing on the face of the earth that you can desire that you can compare with wisdom. A man who has wisdom is a man who has possessed God. When you have wisdom, it's like you have possessed God himself. There is nothing that you can desire on this planet that you can compare with the ticker of wisdom those i was surprised when i was watching mike tyson mike tyson fighting i think he was fighting a boxer called bruno from uk and there was this promoter called don king don king doesn't fight but yet he gets more money than the fighter the promoter gets more money than the one whose head is hit like a donkey. Where is the difference here? Wisdom. Wisdom. The Lord has sent me here to teach you that your head must begin to work. In the 21st century, your head must begin to work. 
I was teaching the other day. I was talking to singers. And I was telling them. That if you are a lady and you are here. Don't get into marriage because you are looking for somebody to solve your bills. You get into marriage because you have also brought something on the table. The man will respect you when he discovers that you are super intelligent. You hear me? And I told the boys that women don't eat scriptures. <laughs> they don't eat the book of lamentations. How many of you still love this black preacher? <laughs> awesome. Praise God. As a woman, your ability goes, is, is above the kitchen. You are not created to cook. You have potential beyond food. Every lady say, I hear you. That's why you find that there is a revolution in the world today. You go to Argentina, the woman is the president. Go to Germany, the woman is the leader. Liberia, it is a woman. You need to break out of that cocoon. When God created a woman, he created him to be a helpmate. In other words, there is a level man can go, but when a woman comes in, she can move that man to the level where he's supposed to be. That takes more than food. Food doesn't move me to where I'm supposed to be. <laughs> Clap for me. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Tell your neighbor, food does not move a man to where he's supposed to be. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. There is nothing you can compare with wisdom. The Bible said everything that can be desired on the earth. It is amazing that is what we don't pray for. Yet the Bible says in the book of James, if any man lacks wisdom, let him go to God and pray. I'm waiting for prayer revival on wisdom. That that group of people you see praying, they are asking God for one thing and one thing only. Wisdom. You can solve a problem in minutes by wisdom. Two women came to King Solomon. They were sleeping in the same house. They gave birth in the same period of time. After three days, one, one gave birth like today. After three days, the other one also delivered. So, when it came to King Solomon, one had killed her child and stole the child of the other lady. Now they came to Solomon. Everyone was claiming that the living child is theirs. The Bible says, Solomon said, give me a sword. I want to cut this living child into two pieces so that each one of you should go with one. And the mother of the child said, please give the child to her. Solomon said, you are the mother of the child. The other one was saying, kill the child. That did not take just fasting. It took wisdom. In fact, the Bible says with that judgment, everyone feared Solomon. They understood that indeed, God has given Solomon great wisdom. Proverbs 3. This week we are going to learn great things. I'm going to teach you about 10 people you cannot help. <laughs> what? Hey. 
I also fear myself. <laughs> Hallelujah. Proverb 3. Verse 13. Are you, are you seeing it in your Bible? What does it say? Happy is the man that finds wisdom. And the man that getteth understanding. Uh -huh. For it's, for the merchandise of it is better than the merchandise of silver. And the gain thereof than fine gold. She is more precious than rubies. And all the things thou canst desire cannot be compared unto her. Have you seen it is repeated again? Twice it is repeated. That there is nothing a man can desire on the face of the earth. That can be compared with wisdom. Look at this. Look at verse 16. Are you there? Read. Length of days are in her right hand. And in her left hand riches and honor. In other words, the wise live long. Without a man prophesying long life to them. They simply live long. Length of days are in the hands of wisdom. Right and left are riches and honor. Riches and honor. Look at verse 17. Her ways, read, her ways of pleasantness and all her paths are peace. She is a tree of life to them that lay hold upon her. And happy is everyone that retains her. Look at verse 19 free of church. Read. The Lord by wisdom has founded the earth. And by understanding he has established the heavens. By his knowledge the depth were broken up. The clouds dropped down the dew. Hallelujah. Sir, that is how powerful wisdom is. Whatever you desire is in your wisdom. Lunchtime I said your money is not anywhere else. Your money is in your wisdom. Because money comes to us in proportion to the problem that we have solved. The problem you solve is the one that determines the amount of money that comes your way. Oh, if, they are pay, if your salary is 5,000, that means your problem is a 5,000 problem. It's not because you have a generational curse. You have a 5,000 problem. Tell your neighbor, increase your price tag. Point to someone else and tell them, possibilities your mentality. The way you are going to be treated in this life is going to be determined by the problem. You are capable solving life treats you according to the problems you solve I'm happy to tell you that serious I'm very happy to tell you that life is going life is always going to be fair life is going to treat you in proportion to the problem you have solved Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody say, Lord, give me wisdom. Speak like you are praying. 
Every time you face a challenge, before you bind the demons, I bind your legs, I break your ribs. I... Go to God for wisdom. You will come out and your enemies will be paralyzed. Go to God for wisdom. Somebody say wisdom. We read that wisdom is the principal thing in all you're getting, get understanding. Wisdom is important, sir. It's important. Look at verse 18 of the book of Job 28. Quickly, now I'm going to run. It's going, it's going to be marathon now, right? Ready? Read. No mention shall be made of coral or of powers. For the price of wisdom is above rubies. The price of wisdom is supreme. It is above rubies. It is above rubies. May God give you wisdom. In fact, tonight when I'll be finishing, I'm going to pray for wisdom. And the Lord will grant you wisdom from today. Surpassing wisdom. Mental dignity. Glory to God. Verse 16 of Proverbs 16. It says, Are you there, please? Let's read together. How much better is to get wisdom than gold and to get understanding rather to be chosen than silver? In other words, these things that we are struggling for in the world, God is giving us an open invitation that if you got wisdom, that will be enough because whatever you want in this life is embedded in that wisdom is a multivitamin it is it has everything you are looking for because of my schedule and the why work my doctors and those who work around me they suggest that i take some specific multivitamins there are some that i take there is one i took there is nothing you are looking for in the body which it doesn't have that's why I look the way I look. Clap for me. <laughs> when I was preaching the other day down this way, they called me that there is another one that has come. It has omega 3, 6, and 9. It works on this man. Mm. but wisdom is more than what I've mentioned when you possess wisdom it simply means there is nothing you will look for who doesn't want a wise person who really who doesn't everyone wants to deal with wise people there is a man in America he works for Bill Gates one of the richest men on earth Every month, his salary is one million dollars. One million dollars. When a man was growing a church, the biggest church in America is Lakewood Church, pastored by Joel Austin. He went, when he took over the pastorate, he went and looked for one of the wisest men who was working in White House. He employed him to be the CEO 
of Lakewood Church. Lakewood Church today when they are counting offerings, they begin to count on Monday and finish on Thursday. <laughs> Dollars, not shillings. Sir. Your head must begin to work. Put your hand here. Say, Lord, impart wisdom on me today. In Jesus' name. So be it in Jesus' name. Glory to God. Number six. The wise welcome correction. The proof that you are wise is the way you appreciate to be corrected. So the wise welcome correction. Oh yes, they do. The wise will always welcome correction. Let us look at Proverbs chapter 9. Are you in chapter 9? Verse 8. Ready? Read. Reprove not a scorner, lest he hate thee. Rebuke a wise man, he will love thee. These people you try to rebuke and they, they, they put their mouth in the nose. Walk away from them because you are simply talking to a fool. Do you hear what I'm saying? The wise welcome correction. When you rebuke them, they can simply say, I think I'm wrong. I think I didn't get it right. It is a sign of wisdom to say, I'm sorry. That's proof that you have gone somewhere. You cannot be always right. You cannot be a hundred percent right. Boy, I like the way you're standing there. Cool. Keep on standing. The wise welcome correction. Now that scripture has hit on your head right now. Because every time they talk to you, they try to counsel you, you think this one is against me. This one is always like that. It's, you are not wise then because the wise welcome correction. The proof that you are super intelligent is in your ability to receive correction. One of my best books, which is on on market, it came on market and it went off market, was written by a great man of God who fell short of the grace of God. And he lost his ministry by that time, his ministry and Jimmy Swaggart ministry were the two leading ministries in the United States of America. So he falls short of the glory and the, the, the American government came in and possessed everything and took everything from him. They took his entire city and put up something that looked like a city. Now they took him to prison. While in prison, he looked into himself, not at himself. Sometimes you don't need to look at, you look into. Right? You go beyond skin deep looking to. And he wrote a big volume of a book. And the title is, I was wrong. Ah, I respect that man. I was wrong. Very few of us accept that I think I was wrong. We don't like that. But the scripture said, rebuke a wise man. He will love you. Rebuke a fool. He will hate you. In fact, 
The Bible suggests that don't even try to talk to a fool because he's going to hate you. He's going to hate you. Hate your guts forever. So it is important then that you embrace correction. If you want serious people to come into your life, you need to have those shock absorbers so that whenever they rebuke you, when they tell you here you are not doing it right, don't try to argue. Don't try to prove a point. Don't try to prove a point. Praise be to God. Welcome correction. Tell your neighbor from today. Be willing and ready to be rebuked. Look at verse 31 of 15 Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 15. Verse 31. Are you in Proverbs 15, 31? Ready? Are you ready? Read. The ear that heareth reproof of life abideth among the wise. Wow. Mm, you better clap for that verse. <laughs> oh, to clap for that verse. Very important. How many of you want to abide among the wise? Receive correction. Your ability to receive correction, God will make sure that you never settle with fools forever. Fools will never know your address. Say amen. amen. Say I hear. <laughs> they will never know where you stay. Let us read that verse one more time. Ready? Where, where are we? 30? 31. Okay, ready? Go. Slowly, don't rush. Let it enter your last stomach. Right. Go. The ear that heareth the lip proof of life abideth among the words. Verse 31. He that refuses instruction despises his own soul. But he that heareth reproof getteth understanding. Who? Tell your neighbor that man is speaking to you. Tell them it it looks like he knows where you stay. <laughs> the Lord is faithful, isn't he? Always be ready. When this man of God wrote that book, I was wrong. There was a way God worked it out that he was released out of prison. Now he has built another big ministry again. Because the wise receive correction. Why did God love David more than any other king that reigned in Israel? It was his ability when he was rebuked by prophet Nathan. His ability to say I'm wrong touched God. We have an entire chapter, Psalm 51, which is the repentance prayer of King David. Have mercy on me, O oh God. He is, uh, he is, uh, is an amazing man. No man is a finished product. God has never called perfect people. He uses imperfect, imperfect souls. But the Bible says that a broken and contrite spirit, thou, O oh Lord, shall not despise. Don't try to explain. When you look at the sins of David, they are bigger than the sins of King Saul. But the difference between them is the ability to say, I'm wrong. When Saul is told he's wrong, he's trying to explain to the prophet that there is something you might not understand, man of God. Shut up. 
Tell your neighbor, why don't you shut up? Don't make a point. Verse 11 of Proverbs 3. What does it say? My son, despise not the chastening of the Lord, neither be wary of his correction. 12. For whom the Lord loveth, he corrects. And even, uh, even as a father, the son in whom he delighted. That tells you that the people who come to correct you, they don't hate you. They love you. They love you so much that they don't want to leave you the way they found you. Praise God. Number seven, wisdom creates currents of favor and recognition. Wisdom creates currents of favor and recognition. The chapter 4 of Proverbs that speaks about wisdom, verse 8 says, Read, Exalt her, and she shall promote thee. She shall bring thee to honor when thou dost embrace her. Favor. Favor. Somebody shout favor. Say it louder. Awesome. 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 This chapter is a chapter of wisdom. I would suggest that when you are free, go home and read chapter 8 of Proverbs. That is where wisdom, it is when wisdom is speaks. When God was laying the foundations of the earth, I had to be by his side. When he was building this, I was there. But let me read for you here. Verse, Proverbs uh, 8, verse 34. It says, Blessed is the man that do what? Heareth me. Watching me, watching daily at my gates. Waiting at the posts of my doors. For whoso findeth me, findeth life, and shall obtain favor of the law. Wisdom says the moment you find me, you are automatically favored. You shall obtain the favor of God. Shall obtain the favor of God. Somebody shout favor. Write down Proverbs 3. Verse 1. And verse 4. Number 8. Wisdom guarantees. Promotion. Wisdom guarantees. Promotion. It doesn't matter where you are, which office you are sitting in. The moment they discover that you are really wise, promotion will be automatic. Because they see that you are capable of solving bigger problems. You're capable of solving bigger problems. You will be promoted. Your money is in your wisdom. Proverbs 8. Verse 15. Wisdom is speaking loud. Ready? Read. By me, kings reign and princes decree justice. 16. By me, princes rule and nobles, even all the judges of the earth. Look at verse 17. Read it louder. I love them that love me and those who seek me early shall find me. Verse 18, riches and honor with me. Yeah, durable riches and righteousness. 19, 
My fruit is better than gold. Yeah, the fine gold. And my revenue than choice silver. Huh? Promotion is hidden in wisdom. By me, this chapter is a chapter when wisdom came to fight for itself, for himself. He says, by me. Wisdom is that powerful. The Bible says, you know, I told you when you possess wisdom, it means you have possessed God. Because the Bible says that Jesus is the wisdom of God. The wisdom of God. Jesus could not start his ministry until he had obtained wisdom. And the child grew, the Bible says in Luke, I think chapter 2, in stature and in wisdom. Why are you growing only in stature? Really? Why are you growing only in stature? We see a big man with no head. <laughs> Ask your neighbor, why are you growing in stature only? Jesus grew in stature and in wisdom. The following verse says, Therefore he obtained favor with God and man. The moment he grew in wisdom, favor had to be automatic. It came on him. If you want to have favor, great favor, grow in wisdom. Grow in wisdom. People love you the way, you know, people copy your lifestyle more than what you say. Do you hear that? Wisdom. Somebody say wisdom. Which number was that? Write down Pro Ezra chapter 7 verse 25. Then you will write Proverbs chapter 4 verse 8. Number 9, quickly, we are finishing. When you increase your wisdom, you increase your wealth. When you increase your wisdom, you increase your wealth. When you increase your wisdom, you increase your wealth. Proverbs 8 verse 18. Riches and honor are with me. Yeah, durable riches and righteousness. Verse 21. That I may cause those that love me. To inherit substance. And I will fill their treasures. When you increase your wisdom. You increase your wealth. Glory to God. Say, Lord, give me wisdom. Say it louder than that. Give me wisdom, my God. Tell your neighbor, when you increase your wisdom, you increase your wealth. Say it again. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Write down Psalm 112, verse 1 to 3. Verse 1 and 3, none to 3. 1, jump, 1, comma, then 3. Right? Beautiful. Then, are you writing faster? Proverbs chapter 3, verse 16.
Number 10. I want you to go down to Luke 21. The book of Luke chapter 21. In Luke 21, number 10. Wisdom makes your enemies helpless. Wisdom makes your enemies helpless. Verse 15. Ready? Read. For I will give you a mouth and wisdom which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist. Hmm? When you open your mouth before your enemies, you paralyze them if you are wise. They become helpless. Jesus said, the moment I will give you that wisdom, your enemies, <laughs> they will scatter. They will scatter. So stop, stop being troubled about what your enemies are trying to do. Get wisdom. Get wisdom. That's why the scripture says, I think it is in Proverbs, yes, it's in Proverbs 16 verse 7 where it says, when a man's ways please the Lord, he maketh even his enemies to be at peace with him. Write down Ecclesiastes 7.12. Proverbs chapter 2 verse 6 verse 12 and verse 16. S 11. We are meaning with one and then we close our books. I'm giving you two. We go. Amen. 11. Wisdom can be imparted by the laying on of hands. Did you hear me? Wisdom can be imparted by the laying on of hands. A man of God can lay his hands on you and impart wisdom. And do what? Let me do a demonstration. Let one person come here. <laughs> Let me, what's your name? Eunice. What do you do? Okay. You will not die a teacher. Amen. Come here. And actually soon that one will be over. Amen. You hear me? Yes, I do. Now I impart the wisdom. Lift up your hands. I impart the wisdom of God on you. Surpassing wisdom, excellence, and mental dignity. Stand tall in this generation. Suffer less and profit from everything you'll ever do. In Jesus' name. Amen. Give the Lord praise here. Wisdom can be imparted. I speak the wisdom of God into you now. 
Come on, lift up your hand. The praises of God is here. I speak the wisdom of God into you. I impart the wisdom of God into you. I release the wisdom of God into you. Wisdom shall be upon every way that you will ever take. Your mouth will be opened at the right time in the right places. Wisdom is going to teach you things that you didn't know. Men of honor are going to honor you because of the wisdom of God upon your life. May wisdom become your mantle. May wisdom become your blanket in Jesus' name. I release the wisdom of God in your spirit. From today, you will make sober decisions. You will never make a decision that will make you fall in a pit. All the days of your life, matter where it matters and when it matters, in the mighty name of Jesus, may God take you to places where your wisdom will be honored and respected. Arise and shine. Your light has come. Glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Feel his presence here. Let's clap for the praises of the Lord. Read this scripture. It's going to confirm what I've said. Write it down. We are going to read it together. Deuteronomy 34. Verse 9. Are you there ready? We go. And Joshua the son of Nun was full of the spirit of wisdom. For Moses had laid his hands upon him. And the children of Israel hearkened unto him. And did as the Lord commanded Moses. Hallelujah. I feel like a wave of the spirit here. Come on, dear. The Moses laid hands on Joshua the moment he did that. Every Israel obeyed him. They will obey you because reason by reason of the wisdom that has come on you tonight. May God give you another mouth in Jesus' name. May no man be able to resist your wisdom. You are incomplete if you don't have seven spirits on you. The Bible speaks about them in the book of Isaiah 11. The spirit of God. The spirit of counsel. The spirit of the fear of the Lord. The spirit of might. The spirit of understanding. The spirit of wisdom and the spirit of knowledge. Put your hand on your head. Precious Lord, I impart the wisdom of God upon every man and every woman right now. I release the spirit of wisdom upon this entire congregation from today Lord give them another mind Lord fertilize their mind at the sound of my voice because you said in Isaiah 11 that after the seven spirits have come you will make him of quick understanding fertilize their minds and make them of a quick understanding they will never take days to understand something and make a decision on a particular thing. May the Spirit of God fertilize your mind in the name of Jesus. May the Spirit of God incubate your mind in Jesus' name. May the Spirit of God 
empower you with wisdom, intelligence that no man can resist all the days of your life in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Give him praise. Bible says and they looked at them and they said we don't remember seeing these boys going to school Peter and John and then one man said ah I have remembered they walked with Jesus and the Bible says no man could resist the wisdom of Stephen they had to block their ears to kill him they had to block their ears it was too much for them. From today, you'll be too much for them. You'll be just too much in your office. You'll be too much for anybody. You're going to be too much. Receive that grace in Jesus. Lastly, the word of the Lord is your source of wisdom. The word of the Lord, that is our last point of benefit to reward. The word of the Lord is your source of wisdom. Write down Deuteronomy chapter 4. Are you there? Verse 5, let's read. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, even as the Lord my God commanded me that you should do so in the land whither you go to possess it. Keep therefore them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations which shall hear all these statutes and say, Surely this great nation is wise, is a wise and understanding people. The word of the Lord is your source of wisdom. Psalm 119. Are you in Psalm 119? Let me see what it says to you. Word of the Lord is your source of wisdom. Verse 98. Are you there? Ready? Ready? Read, though through thy commandments has made me wiser than mine enemies, for they are ever with me. Your commandments, your word has made me wiser than my enemies. Your word has made me wiser than my enemies. Joshua 1.8 says, this book of the law shall not depart from your mouth. Thou shalt meditate in it day and night that you may be able to observe all that is written in it. That is how you shall make your way prosperous. Amen. And that's how you shall have good success. Somebody say good success. Say it louder than that. I didn't hear you. Okay. Proverbs 2 verse 6. We are going to read it together. Are you blessed tonight? Are you there in Proverbs 2 6? Shall we read together? For the Lord giveth wisdom. 
and out of his mouth cometh knowledge and understanding. Look at verse 7, read. He layeth up sound wisdom for the righteous. He is a buckler to them that walk uprightly. The word that comes of his mouth, out of his mouth, is your source of wisdom. Let's give God a big hand. I know you got it. Come on, celebrate God.